So I just recorded this whole tutorial and then realized that the microphone wasn't on, so we're going we're gonna to give it another try. Uh, so we're using Procreate on the iPad and the Apple Pencil to trace a silhouette that will then export into Illustrator to prepare for the Glowforge. So we're going to start by using this wrench to add a file. So we're going to insert a photo. I have a picture of my little baby Freya. Um, we're going to not worry so much that her hair is a little fluffy. We're not going to worry so much that her shoulders are bunched up. The important part for the uh, silhouette, the part that's going to make it look like your specific child or your specific loved one um, or your customer's loved one, whatever, uh, is the forehead, nose, lips, chin. That That's the part that really matters, okay? The rest we can work with. So you see that we brought the uh, photo in. At the bottom you've got these options. It says freeform, uniform, distort. We have it on uniform and that way when we resize it will preserve the proportions. Okay, so whatever size you want to work with is fine. No big deal. Uh, I'm going to leave it about like that for now. Uh, I'm going to come over here to the little double square at the top uh, to my layers panel. It is so important that you are drawing on a separate layer. So you're going to click that plus sign create another layer. This is where we're going to draw. This is going to make it so easy to delete that photo later on because we're not actually going to use the photo. We're going to use our drawing. Okay, so we have our layer. We have, you can use whatever color makes you happy up here so you can change your colors. Um, I'm going to leave this red orangish color. That's fine with me. And come over to the paintbrush. I like the mono pigeon brush from Pigeon Letters. I'll link it. Oh, that was, that was Freya. She's <laughs> napping. Uh, and sneezing in her nap. Uh, so I like the mono pigeon brush from Pigeon Letters. I don't remember if it was paid or free, but I'll link it in the com in the description. Um, I just like it because it's uniform. It's it's just a good drawing brush. But there are lots of others, so whatever you're comfortable with is fine. Um, all right, we're gonna resize. I like a size brush that is small enough that I can get fine detail, but not so small that it feels invisible. <laughs> um, one of the beautiful things with Procreate is that you can pinch and resize all you need. Oh, you see that I just drew on her because my uh, fingers came up. No worries. You're going to use two fingers, tap, and you can undo that. And that is another beautiful thing about Procreate uh, is that it's so easy to undo your mistakes. All right. So, as I mentioned, this part is the most important. Okay? And I'm going to do a better job of just showing you. These uh, forehead, nose, lips. Um, and chin. That's the most important part. You could really, if you felt like it, use somebody else's head or uh, maybe your hair looks bad today and so you want to use somebody else's hairstyle. That is all good. As long as your face looks like you, the silhouette will look like you. Alright, so we're going to tap to remove that because it's terrible. I'm going to start tracing. And I'll show you a couple of tips. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing in real time. Uh, but you see I'm drawing pretty slowly. You also see that I just shamelessly drew on her face. That's fine. The inside lines don't matter at all. We're going to fill it in. So it's going to it's gonna all disappear. You want to make sure that the outside line looks like the photo. And so I even like to start up here, sort of inside there, so that I can get a smooth line to kind of blend with whatever was there before. It's not always perfectly um, accurate, but that's fine. I like to draw in short lines. It's, it's kind of annoying to get used to, but what that means is if I mess up, I'm only deleting a couple inches instead of, you know, the whole thing. So, and you'll see that there is a little blip there that it's not super smooth right here. You can either just go right back over it or um, wait until the end. That's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and trace out the rest of this. Um, I'll speed it up in the final video and I'll see you on the other side. Okay. So at this point, I just want to uh, stop, draw your attention to a couple of things and then uh, we'll go on. So we are going to take uh, we're going to fill this in. All right, so first of all, it's important that your lines meet, that it's a, a, a closed uh, shape. You're going to take your Apple Pencil up to this color and just 
click and just drag it and fill it in and it's beautiful. Now you see that my child has a cone head here, right? She doesn't in real life. So a couple of things you can do. You can either Let's say that you have a, a shape that you love. It looks just like your, your child or whoever it is that you're drawing. Come back up to the layers panel. You wanna select this layer one, swipe to the left, delete it. Okay, because we don't need that anymore. We have the shape that we need. Um, now maybe at this point you observe some other uh, changes that you wanna make. That's completely fine. We're gonna pretend that this is a smooth, beautiful, uh, beautiful shape. You wanna go ahead and add some sort of uh, little neck and, neck and shoulders uh, shape and guys it took me a million years on the last take to get that shape just right uh, one tip that you can use is uh, go to a silhouette shape that you do like and just kind of copy the look of that um, you don't have to do it uh, you can certainly freehand it but that can make it easier when you want something to uh, you want it to look really professional so I am going to meet you over at the iPad or I'm sorry over at the laptop in Illustrator so um, let me show you real quick how to export this, just in case you're not uh, familiar with Procreate. Click the wrench, go to share, I like a PNG at this point, save to files, and you'll, you'll title it whatever you want to title it. Um, and just make sure that it goes to your, uh, whatever it is that's tied to your laptop, or you can just go ahead and email it to yourself, you can put it on a flash drive, you know, however you transfer your files is fine. Alright, see you over there. had to trace our photo for the silhouette and at this point we're going to bring it into Illustrator. I have my canvas up and Finder, Fray Silhouette, so it's right here. Click and drag. Get rid of that. I like to move it over so it's on my canvas. And then you're going to click up here, the arrow next to image trace, silhouettes, expand. And there you are. Now this is an engrave uh, in the Glowforge hey. user interface. Uh oh, my baby's awake. One moment. So in the Glowforge user interface, uh, when you have something with a fill, it engraves. And we, I guess you, you could uh, engrave the silhouette. And in fact, I do on ornaments. We'll show you the, that in later videos. But you probably want to cut a silhouette. So you use this toggle over here. It swaps your fill and stroke. And now you have a black stroke and a clear fill. Okay. Again, as a reminder, that red slash means that it's empty versus white, which is just another fill color. Okay, so at this point, you want to save as and make sure that you're going to save it as an SVG. And then uh, once you save it, we can do all sorts of wonderful things with it. And again, I'll show you those in a couple of other videos we'll do. Uh, some ornaments and I'll show you how to apply an engraved pattern to the background it can be very pretty it's a little bit more of an advanced technique so uh, make sure that you're comfortable with the basics of working with Illustrator uh, before you go on to that video um, although I guess you can just follow along and and figure it out with me but here you are let me know if you have any questions